First question, are you okay? I ask this question because I've seen an array of YouTube videos with very similar styled thumbnails and very similar reworded uh, video titles. And they're all kind of getting at this same message of the old Minecraft was great. And now that I'm older, I feel lost. Second question. Do you feel lost? This question in itself makes me want to take a side quest of questions. Like, how old were you when you first started playing Minecraft? Do you still play Minecraft? Do you listen to Minecraft music? Have you found anything that made you feel similar to when you played Minecraft as a kid? If you haven't, why do you think that is? I'm very curious about the current state of mind of older Minecraft players? Or is this also happening to younger, newer Minecraft players? I just started playing Minecraft. I'm actually a newer Minecraft player, and I started playing video games consistently the past few years, ever since I had this YouTube channel. And I love Minecraft, probably for similar reasons you do. The music, beautiful, fantastic. I didn't grow up playing Minecraft, like I said, but there's still that sense of nostalgia in the music, even as a newer player. And also, side, side note, if you love listening to Minecraft music, I have a channel for you. The channel is called 08. They make... Minecraft inspired music. So check out that channel. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I love the music. I love the ability that you have to really let your imagination and creativity run in the game. For example, the first time I built my, my first house, instead of building like a, a ground, a foundation, right? And building up. I just started digging and I I just let my imagination go and dug this like hole and dug to the left, forward, to the right. I did some stairs. I just need to do that one. Here we go. Now, <laughs> I'm going to remember I can always dig up, which is good. Um, I'll leave that. Gravel is better to use a shovel. Oh yeah, that's what it says. Okay, let me scoop back. Do like a little den area. No, I don't want to do that one.
No, the cooked one. Yay. Oh, so it seems like the cooked one is better? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Let me do that. I want to get this a little more even, though. Maybe I can plant some stuff too so I can eat. Maybe. All right, let's see if I can find my table. I wonder if I... And then I added windows and then I was adding art and I'd put the chest right there and I just I just made my house. And it was like on a side of a cliff. It was I thought it was beautiful. But um I love that freedom that Minecraft allows you to have. So my next and last question. Do you miss the freedom? That Minecraft gave you. I know we can't walk around in our day-to-day -day li lives with like Minecraft lo-fi music playing in the background. I mean you can but it can be disruptive if you're in school, if you're at work, you know. And we are limited to what we are able to do in the outside world. I think that's why video games have such a hold on people. They do have limitations, but they, there's a lot more freedom in video games than here. Is that what you miss? The freedom. And I guess now, here's another question. I have so many questions for you. Why aren't you able to feel that freedom in your day-to-day -day life? You know, I hope people can do what they want to do. You know, go for your dreams. I know that's cheesy. But I hope some of you do answer my questions. I am actually very curious. But yeah, I don't know if this is just like a trend thing that's going around. Maybe someone saw a video that popped off, went viral, and they were like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to copy that. And there's nothing actually going on. It's just for the views. Or is this actually something that people feel? Yeah, that's all I have to say. I have to go to work now. So, peace out.